Ta da! <coughs> Waldingfield Road. That's what this thing is called. And this is Waldingfield Gate. And this pleasing little trail, I believe, brings you to another one of the chunks of Harvard that the Appletons hauled out here from the demolition of Gore Hall, a finial. It's quite the meadow. This is where you'd find bobolinks and meadowlarks. Pretty wide. It's as if the Appletons wanted to have entryways large enough to cover God if he showed up. You never know. Promenade for a farm. Forecast claims a partly sunny day, which means mainly overcast, but a bit of peeping sun now and then. I like those light conditions. Ah, yes. Yep, my instincts were sound, or my memory, one or the other, but one of the several Gore Hall finials is indeed not very far from here. Oh yes, there it is. Hoving two. Might get the two of them today. And I'll naturally pass by a third, so. It's one of the more interesting potential activities for an Appleton hike. Find all four finials. Mission accomplished for one. Dedicated to the memory of the wife of Francis A. Appleton. Her name was Fanny, and she lived to be nearly a hundred years old. Born in 1864. Left this world in 1958.
Ah, interesting fork. Farewell to the finial for Fanny Appleton. And forward we go, where we may meet another finial up on Pigeon Hill. There's one we won't get. I have it anyway. Got to save one for you for the sense of mystery after all. Okay. Somewhere down here is said to be a John Appleton Memorial. I think it might be that way. And a glance of the map was That also goes into a part of Appleton. It's a big open pasture. Sure enough, this would be our trailhead. Trail point. This one is welcoming of both Shanks Mare and the more majestic four-legged version. So that goes more towards the center of the place. Outer edge. <laughs> 